This is what you would call the world's best macaroni and cheese. Now, or the original creator of this recipe, I will tag her down below because this recipe was inspired by Chef Tini, who we all know and love on this here TikTok app. Now, I used Esther's recipe, but I also made several changes, so enjoy. I'm going to use the cavatappi noodles along with these cheeses and the adjustment I made is I'm going to add this cream cheese in. Now once we get our pasta rolling, we're going to let that go until it's a little bit before al dente because it's going to finish cooking in the oven. This recipe is so damn good. Let's get this video to 300 likes. Feel free to use packaged cheese, but me, sis, on the other hand, I'm going to shred my own cheese ever since I started using this rotary cheese grater. You can't pay me not to use it now. I'm going to shred up one pound of the sharp cheddar, and then I'm going to shred up one pound of the Colby Jack. And if you would like this rotary cheese grater, go ahead and go to my TikTok shop and look at my showcase, and you will find it. This is what our cheese look like after shredding it. Now we're going to sit this to the side and start making our roux. Melt three tablespoons of butter, and once your butter is melted, you're going to take your seasonings and only pour in half the seasonings. To kind of get the same flavor of Esther's recipe, I'm going to use the same season as Esther did. She used chicken bouillon, one teaspoon, and one teaspoon of garlic powder, and then one teaspoon of smoked paprika. Once your seasonings are all in and they're well combined into the butter, I'm going to go in with three tablespoons of flour, but I'm going to add that in one at a time. <laughs> At this point, I'm going to whisk in 16 ounces of evaporated milk, and I'm going to blend that until it's smooth with no lumps, and then I'm going to go in with my heavy whipping cream, two cups of that, until that's smooth with no lumps, and just keep whisking until it's the texture that you want. I just know this recipe is going to be good because Chef Tini, we know she can throw down. I really wish I could taste her food up close and personal, but nonetheless, this recipe that Esther used inspired by Chef Tini, I'm sure is going to taste just as good because it already smells freaking amazing in my kitchen. Now I'm going to go in with eight ounces of softened cream cheese and I'm going to mix that in until that is nice and creamy and smooth. At this point, if you want to be the talk of the town in your family or at any potluck, go ahead and save this video because, let me tell you, the next gathering, you need to make this and bring it. They will not stop talking about you. At this point, I'm just taking half the cheese that we set aside, and I'm just melting it down into the roux for this nice and creamy cheese sauce. Look at that. Okay, mixing your cheese sauce with your noodles. Take your greaseful pan, and then add your macaroni to it, and then layer your cheese on top. And then we're going to take the rest of that macaroni and add it to this, and then we're going to layer it with more cheese, and then we're going to bake it in the oven on 370 for 25 minutes or until we get that thick nice and crispy golden brown crust that we all love on top of our homemade baked macaroni and cheese comment down below some other ways that i can make baked macaroni and cheese because i'm open to trying different recipes if you know any other creators that have a mac and cheese recipe that you want me to try go ahead and tag them and so I can go check out their video and, um, and try to recreate their macaroni and cheese. After I took it out the oven, this was the results that I got. And my goodness, this macaroni and cheese is so cheesy. It is so creamy and it's delicious.